So here I'm going to show how we can uh, automate our RDP or Citrix applications using Power Automate agent for uh, virtual desktop. So here you see my RDP or virtual machine is running and I ensure that this Power Automate agent for virtual desktop is running here. So <clears throat> you can launch it. Uh, then I go to my Power Automate desktop interface and here I've created a, a UI flow and I'm just trying to record everything here. So I click on record button. <clears throat> Let's say record. So first I open my virtual machine. Then I you see, I'm able to identify uh, my icons or even some other elements. So I double click on this calculator. And then I say four plus three. equals to right so here you are able to see it is able to capture all those ui elements i try to even read the output and i say get text and now i <clears throat> close my calculator And I complete my recording. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, rerun uh, the same code. So let's see how it happens. So this has opened my RDB VM again. It is clicking on that calculator icon. And then it is able to even close the calculator application. So this is done. Now I just want to <clears throat> show that this is not using any image automation and it is using actually you know ui elements so uh, uh, instead of plus button i will try to uh, do the multiplication so here we go to uh, ui element uh, selectors and i find the button this is plus button let's edit it <clears throat> and i will then say here this id is equals to maybe a uh, multiply button, right? So then this will multiply. Had this been um, an image automation, uh, you would have not been able to uh, change this uh, UI element selector. So I just say save and now let's rerun, have a code. So again, this will launch the calculator application. Now instead of plus, this will do the multiplications. Four multiplied by three equals to 12, you see? And this will close the calculator. Let's go back to our flow. And here you see it is able to uh, capture the value. So attribute value displays 12 here and this should work in uh, the exact manner even for citrix as well hope this helps thank you